This training video demonstrates the use of a sound detective kit, a kit in a book for development of phonological awareness in young children, and part one features the auditory level of phonological awareness. The components that you will see in the total kit are both at the spoken level and at the phonics level. For a demonstration of the phonics level, go to Detective Kit Part 2 video. So let me get started with analysis of spoken language. The very first analysis is how many words do you hear in a sentence? And this is slide down markers for the words in a sentence. And in this video, you will see Logan, Logan doing that. You know how to do the de sound detective kit, right? Yeah. Okay. So you're going to help us teach other teachers how to do it with other kids, okay? I know you know how to do it, but we're just going to pretend like you've never done it, okay? And the first thing we're going to do is to pull down markers for each word that we hear in a sentence, okay? My turn first. I run fast. This is fast. This is I. This is run, okay? Your turn. Put it back up. The sentence now is, I like to play. I like to play. Yeah, four words, isn't it? Can you show me play? Good. You counted each one before you got to it. Great. Two. This one's tough. Yep, you got it. An I. Okay. How about he swims fast? He swims fast. Okay. Okay. Now, where swims? And where's fast? And where's he? Okay. Good. Good. That's pretty easy for most kids. It's used as an introduction to the rest of the auditory analysis activities. The important beginning part for understanding that spoken words can be pulled apart are by syllables or by big parts of the word. So slide down markers for baseball yesterday, as you will see in this video. Then we're going to show kids how to do syllables, the big parts of words. Do you want to put them on? You want to put them right on the car? Okay. Uh, let's do sweatshirt. Okay, we're doing the big parts of words now. Let's go back up. Sweatshirt. I'll do it first. Then it's your turn, okay? Sweat shirt. This is shirt. This is sweat. Okay, let me do one more. Sunshine. Sun shine. Can you point to shine? Can you point to sun? Right, put it back up, okay? How about baseball? Let me hear. Good. Show me base. Show me ball. Good. Put it back up. How about yesterday? Yesterday. Good. Can you show me yes? Day. Enter. Yeah. Great. 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 Here's a tough one. Can you do watermelon? Water. Let's do it one more time together. Okay. Put it down. Water melon. Right? You needed one more, right? Okay. Let's do Tuesday. Tuesday. Wonderful. So show me twos. Show me day. Okay. 
How about <coughs> um, steamship? Steamship. Okay, show me ship. Steamship. Yep, that was ship. Show me steam. Okay, good, good. How about um, wonder? Wonder. Okay, can you find der? Yep, and one. Good, that was a tough one. Let's see if you can do a really long one. Mississippi. Oh, you're doing every sound. You're doing all the little parts. Let's go back to the syllables, okay? Mi, si, okay? Mi, si, si, fi. You notice that when he goes beyond two syllables, he's having some difficulty here, which indicates that he would need some more help with that before moving on to um, sounds in words. Another way to do that is to have children count syllables in, in the words. Often we do that by having them clap the syllables, but then the number disappears. If you have them count on their fingers for how many parts or syllables do you hear in Sunday, they then see how long the word is. The next step in the detective kit is segmentation and deletion of sounds, sliding down markers for sounds in words like m sat or map. Now let's do sounds in words, okay? Do you want to put your markers on the house? I'll do it first, okay? My word is meat. Mm, eat. Did I do it right? Okay. Mm, eat. Right? Okay. Your turn. Go. Go. Nice job. You can put it back up. How about uh, fat? Nice job. Can you show me a? Eh? Yes. Can you show me t? And uh, yeah, you got it. Okay, you want to put it back up. How about smack? Great. So let's say the sounds again. Smack. Great. Want to put it back? Smack. Want to put it back up? Uh, feet. Feet. So say the sounds. Feet. Okay. Take away the f. Can you take away the f? What do you have left? Let's put it back for a minute. This bit is. Wait, let's do it. Eat. Right? Feet. Eat. Feet. Now take away the f. And what is this? Eat. So what's the word? Eat. Did you ever know that? If you take away f from feet, you have eat. So we do a couple more. Do seat. Seat. Okay. Show me E. E. Mm -hmm. Show me S. Show me T. Right. Now take away, wait, leave it there for a minute. Take away the S. What do you have left? was seat. You took away s. You have eat. Right. Okay. 
uh, let's do lake lake okay say the sounds again lake what's this sound just this one a good this one is full take away the o what do you have left What's this sound? A. A. K. A. Do you know what an ache is? You don't get aches and pains? That's because you're young. When you get older, you maybe you have some aches and pains. Aches is when something hurts. Do you ever have your shoulder hurt? No? Oh, are you lucky. Notice that Logan is easily able to build up words sound by sound and even to identify where the sounds are but when he's asked to take away the beginning sound he is having difficulty so again this is an area where he's going to continue to need individual help or in a small group another important skill that's very seldom taught is distinguishing where in the word you hear a sound so with this picture of a three-part train with an engine flat car and caboose you would ask with only one marker for the child where do you hear the sound of mm in mit if it's in the beginning the middle or the end mark where you hear the mm so here's a demonstration of Logan, Logan working with position of sound. Now we're going to play a game of where's the sound. Have you done this one? Only need one of these this time. Okay. I want you to listen for mm. And if you hear the sound in the beginning of the word, you're going to put it in the engine, right? If you hear the sound mm at the end of the word, it goes, yep, in the caboose. And if it's in the middle, it goes there, right? Okay. So the, you're listening for mm, the first word is may. You're right, it's in the middle, in the beginning, may. Okay, now take it back. This one's tricky. The word is Amy. 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 Where did you hear the mmm? Yep, that is a tricky one. Okay, take it back. You want to get rid of that dirt in those wheels, don't you? Unfortunately, we can't. It's right in the drawing. Um, the word is Sam. Sam. Yes, you hear it at the end. Very good. Notice again that this is another skill that Logan is having difficulty with and indicates that he needs more practice using this detective kit. This concludes the auditory level of analysis of sounds in words that are very, very important for beginning reading and should be done before kids are introduced to the letters that make the sounds. For information about my research on early prevention of reading failure and to order the detective kit, visit my website at readingdocflynn.org. And for our demonstrations of our interventions with kids at risk or who have already failed in reading, visit the St. Mary's ITA website.